Hey guys, Branchman Brown here, physical therapist, CrossFit coach, and wellness coach with Get Your Fix Physical Therapy. So I've been on talking about the hip flexor and hip, anterior hip pain and the tightness, straining that area, that sort of thing. Today I'm going to go a slight different direction, but still on the same topic, basically addressing what is not hip flexor tightness. Uh, pertains more to my CrossFitters and my Olympic lifters, more so than runners, but it does affect everybody being that normal functional movements we go into a squat position. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Awesome to see you here. So, I hear a lot of times, or I see a lot of times, that people go into the bottom of a squat position, so that fold up squat. So basically, into this full deep position, so all the way down, um, and they complain about pain on the front of their hip. And then I'll see them trying to kind of, hey Scott, good to see you. And then I'll see them try to smash it out, whether it be with a kettlebell or kind of with their hand or whatever, um, barbell, whatever they want to use to smash it out with or stretch it out. The problem is, Pain at the bottom of a squat in the front of the hip is not hip flexor tightness. When you're in that position, it's about as on slack as it can be. Um, because you are in that total full depth. Hey Renee, nice to see you. You're in that totally short hip flexor position. What's happening a lot of times when you're in that position is, and you're feeling pain there, is you're having tightness either in kind of the glute area, so it's not letting that hip socket move properly, excuse me, or you actually have some tightness in that hip capsule itself, not letting that translate in the direction it needs to be when you're trying to get in that position. So rather than addressing it as a tightness in the front, you really need to be addressing it as a tightness in the back, in that gluteal region. Um, in order to actually get rid of that, um, that tightness there. Hey Kyle, good to see you. Um, at times it can be more that lateral hip IT band type thing, but majority of times what I find is it's more in the, more the hip external rotator gluteal region area. So if you are having pain in the front of your hip and more of a pinch pain when you're in that squat position, stop addressing the front, start addressing the back and you should notice an improvement um, with that as you start working on that over time. As anything, it's not going to be a quick overnight improvement, but you should start noticing a gradual improvement until that pain goes away as long as you keep working on it. So if you have any questions, um, for watching this on replay later and have any questions, definitely post those comments below. For a future subject, how do I keep my heels flat in a squat? I can't do until all the... <laughs> you know it, Nicole, but you're better now. Uh, Scott, yeah, um, a lot of that comes to, can be hip mobility, can be ankle mobility. I've done a lot of stuff on ankle mobility, which I can definitely do again. Um, I can also touch that at the end of this whole series if you would like me to. That's definitely a problem with a lot of people. So I will note that to put that on the end of this whole series, Scott, to help you out. Josh, or an inch of rotated ilium or variety of foot spinal issues a you are correct. Um, there are a lot of issues that can contribute to um, hip issues. Uh, yeah, definitely foot issues, spine issues. I address all those when my athletes with any sort of hip stuff. So there are a lot of issues that can contribute to uh, the hip pain, definitely. Uh, let's see. So yeah, if you're watching this on replay, definitely comment on here. I'd love to hear any comments you have, questions you have. And as usual, if you have any specific questions you want me to address, feel free to message me directly. I'd be happy to answer any of those questions for you. So, hope you have a wonderful Friday. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I will talk to you guys again tomorrow. All right, have a good one. Bye.